Okay, so I've been to B&Q and if you want to make the bigger kind of controller with all the buttons, um, I, found, I found this for two pounds. Um, it fits the controller inside uh, with enough room for the USBs on the, uh, on the side here. Um, and you could just drill your holes um, into the plastic uh, where you want them and spread them out and I think this is a it's a pretty good uh, Purchase for those people that don't want to have to create a box that works really nicely um, What I'm going to do today though is I'm just going to play around with some Logitech buttons with Ava and those buttons um, are independent and they plug directly in and I don't need a case um, but I do need a joystick, uh, the joysticks to be plugged in. So I'm going to take this box, um, again, which I picked up for two pounds, um, and it's five centimeters uh, deep by 10 centimeters uh, wide and uh, 19, a bit odd, nearly 20 centimeters uh, in this direction. So um, what, the reason I'm doing that is I'm gonna take two of these controllers uh, I'm not going to talk about the buttons today at all. I'm just going to talk about the, the actual controllers there. And what I'm going to do is just take those. We've got the, the clips for them. And I'm just going to put them inside this box. Now, it's great. You probably find other boxes that may not have uh, these dividers or they might pull out. Because uh, at the moment, that is a bit annoying. Um, but I'm just going to cut them out with uh, a Stanley knife. I'm not going to get too high tech with that. Um, and they do fit in just. Um, I'm going to have to be very specific on this when I close it. Uh, they've actually got a little holder here, so I'm actually going to flip it upside down so I've got a flatter surf surface there. And I'm going to plunk those in here. I'm going to try and uh, keep them into the dividers that are here. So I only have to remove one divider here and one divider here. So I'll do that now uh, and get cracking, and I'll probably speed this up. Uh, for this process. Okay, I wouldn't say it was perfect, but uh, I've cut those out. Uh, I've changed my plan because uh, when I flip this over, I was going to do this for a flatter side, um, but it doesn't go right up against those channels um, because I've got some pieces here that aren't quite perfect and getting them right might break the box. So I'm going to go back to using uh, this side this side round. Um, not much I can do about that. Um, and so what I need to do is measure this exactly because I've not got much uh, play here. So it is exactly um, it is exactly 95 um, there or 94. That'll go with 95 uh, millimeters and width-wise uh, 52 there. So uh, I need to make sure I get this exactly right. Um, definitely on the width because there's not much play there at all. <clears throat> now the drill piece I'm going to use um, is five millimeters for the the screws to screw in uh, these parts but the joystick here needs a bit of wiggle room it's not just the width of this because when you move it you need a little bit more tolerance either side so I'm going to go for a 16 millimeter piece here. Be very careful because I'm always paranoid about breaking these. Um, so make sure you've got it on the right mode, which is drill mode there. There we go. Okay. Okay, the next part is 
screw in here. Now I've made another error because these curvy parts here are actually getting in the way of this controller. So I might need to cut them off. That is irritating. Okay, so not perfect, but uh, it kind of works. Got the cable to go in there as well. So I'm just gonna do exactly the same for the uh, other side and we should be there. Okay, we've got, uh, got both of these now. Uh, what I would say is we've just got to drill some holes for the cables, check that the um, PCBs go in. Now these are long cables and we need to uh, get them through here at some point as well as these uh, PCBs which control each side of the uh, controllers. I think they'll fit quite nicely in this uh, central part here. Yeah, that looks perfect. So just going to just going to uh, connect those. In there, and uh, could do with a hole. Could do with a hole going through the side. Uh, just checking the width of that. Yeah, that should work. With that same that same sixteen millimeter part. You probably could uh, just cut a a hole here for that to go in. But I'm just going to. Uh, Drill it in. See what see what that does. The same on this side. Now the reason I've done that is I think I could just about, yep, yeah, just squeeze that uh, through from there to there, plug it in, and I'm also going to need one more hole in the back here for the USBs to come out. For there, I might put those both through one at a time. First, the uh, kind of thinner end in first. Just about goes in, perfect. And now we should be able to plug one in and plug one in. That goes into there. Get the other one of these. Plug that in. And what I was kind of getting at here, I might need a slightly bigger hole oh, because of those. That's a bit annoying. So I need one for each of those. So I probably should have done that first really. That would have been easier but uh, having two now is going to be a bit annoying. Been easier to do 
first. Try that again. Stick it there and there. And they will stick out to the other side, so there we go. And then these parts will go straight through there. So there we have it, um, quite like that. Uh, there were some things there that weren't perfect and when they scroll down that will click in nicely. And then these two here, you've got a nice controller there and you can stick those into each side of this. So I'll show more when we do the unboxing later with Ava for the buttons. Um, but this is a way of getting um, controllers here and I'll just stick these on I'll just stick these on and the green one too so yeah we'll show you more about that later but uh, I think that works quite nicely finished controller ready to go uh, to use with the buttons and you just plug those in I quite like it